Stop selling yourself short. Stop selling yourself short. Too many times, and I'm I'm just, and I really do mean that. Too many times, and I, it, it, I'm really having a hard time laying back and not using the word most times. But I'm just going to go with too many for right this second. I might change my own mind here in a minute. But the reality of it is, too many times you sell yourself short. I see too much of it when I'm doing like business coaching with people and it's or seminars that we do. And, you know, just talking to people on the phone to call in and talk to us at Profits Unlimited, you know, about their business and how we could potentially help them improve their opportunities for success and profitability. And I'm not the guy that pats myself on the back and says, hey, if you do it my way, you'll win. Absolutely not. I, no, don't hear me saying that. All I'm saying is, You've got to be open-minded. You've got to be open-minded. And too many times, we talked about just this just the other day, too many times we are our very own worst enemy slash competitor. It's not our competitors that we need to worry about in most cases. It's ourselves. We talked about that. And we kill ourselves every day, and we kill our profitability every day. And I, you can go online right now in any social media t- format that's out there, and you're going to see it. We're selling ourselves short. Guys saying, man, I wish I could get that in my market, you know, or I could never get that with my customers. You got to ask yourself, are you asking for it? Because too many times we're just not asking for it. That's why you're not getting it. You've got a mindset that's blocked off from reality. You think it's reality. It goes back to what Hecubus, my buddy Hecubus says. He taught me this several years ago, and I, I, I live by it a lot now. Think about it a lot. Is that in, in his world, he says the customer's perception of our business is our reality. But let's spin that just a little bit. Let's spin it to your perception of yourself is your reality because it's the daggone truth too. And when you say, I wish I could get that, but my market will never pay it, you're hung up in your own perception problem of what the value of your service is really worth to somebody. Let's work on being a better salesperson instead of succumbing to what we perceive as being the top of the market. And you don't have to believe me on that. Just look around your market, wherever you are. Where It doesn't matter where you're at. North, south, east, west. Or as my mom used to say, hell, west or crooked. You know, it doesn't matter where you're at. You've got cheap things and you've got expensive things and you've got things in the middle. But not all competitors are the same. Not all industries are the same. I know that's what you're thinking, so I'm just going ahead and go ahead and say it. Well, Wayne, you just don't understand our market. You're absolutely right. I don't understand your market. You know what? I don't care to understand your market. You know why? Because I'm not in your market. But what I do know is I know my competitors, I know my market, and I know what I want to make. And until you decide what you want to make, until you decide that you're going to know your competition at least as good, if not better, than you know yourself, you're not going to be able to sell it at a price that you want to get. And that's just the reality of it. Code hard facts should have been a truth bomb. But that's the code hard facts of it. The only reason you can't get what you think you want, and let me even rephrase that, thinking what you want and knowing what you want is two different things. If you know what you want, It's a whole lot easier to sell than thinking what you want is. 
and I know we're playing word games here a little bit, but the reality of it is simply this. If you can't ask yourself right now, Mike, I'm just going to throw Mike out there. Just no, no Mike in particular. Let's use Wayne. I'll use myself. Wayne, why do you charge sixty three fifty as a minimum to mow a lawn? Well, I know why I charge sixty three fifty. I'm not saying you guys need to charge sixty three fifty. Maybe your points fifty three fifty or forty three fifty or two hundred twenty seven fifty. It doesn't matter. My point is this: until you understand why your minimums are your minimums and why you charge what you charge, you're going to keep saying, my market won't pay it. But the next time you say, my market won't pay it, and you start scratching your head and says, man, they won't do it, they won't pay it, I want you to ask yourself a simple question. Do you know why you charge what you charge? 